Friendship and love is all the same to me. London for them chicken wings and pizza. Waffles and Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back. My name is Robertina the Source, and I am a music producer who happens to love anime. And today we're back with another anime reaction series. It's called the The Source React Series, and we are going to get back into Hunter Hunter. I'm very excited to get back into it. Before we begin, of course, I also want to let you know that if you're looking for any sort of music production content, if you're on YouTube, the links will be in the description below. I post beats every week. I also post reaction videos every week. And I will also put information about my website and other cool stuff such as my public Discord. So that will all be in the description below. For those of you guys who are on Patreon, first of all, I like to give a huge shout out and thank you to those you have joined. And if you don't know about it yet, I have a Patreon page where I'll be posting exclusive music production and anime reaction content. Full anime reactions by a music producer. That's very, very rare. So it's very, very cool. Definitely go check that out. It's a fun time because I love watching anime and I love connecting with my fans a lot. So it's a it's great so if you're interested in wanting to watch the full anime reactions or if you want exclusive music production content head on over to the patreon page and definitely check that out it is very 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 fun so with that being said we're gonna get back to hunter hunter and of course i have my good old buddy you can't see him but introduce hey. yourself hey this is Mr. Uh, Big Daddy No More, and I'm here to laugh and giggle. So, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, Let's do this. he's actually watched Hunter Hunter already, but he's watching it again with me. Yeah. And of course, guys, not only am I doing Hunter Hunter, but I'm also doing One Piece. So, if, for you One Piece fans, if you want to go check out those reactions, I'll also put links in the description. Also, the third anime for the Patreon fans. Talk about that a little bit. Oh yes. So. For my Patreon fans only, this is an exclusive. I'm doing a third anime, and it's actually kind of different from your traditional, you know, I guess popular anime. And uh, we're not really going to get into details because I will explain on the Patreon page. But basically, I'm also watching... I got to get the name of it because it's a long name. <laughs> One second. Always forget to do that, y'all. Don't worry. Here we go. Problem children are coming from another world, aren't they? That is only a 10 episode series. I just started it. I actually just recorded and I actually just recently posted uh, the first episode. So that's something to look forward to. And then we also have a lot of cool information that we revealed in that video. Of course, if you want to know about that, head on over to the Patreon page where you can get that because uh, we had a great time watching it. And I think we're going to really enjoy that anime. Thumbs up. Fire emoji. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> all right guys so Let's do this. hunter hunter last couple episodes that we watched it was pretty insane because we found out that kula was brother basically was part of this exam he revealed himself and kilua is now not a hunter because his brother convinced him um to basically quit the chest uh his brother was trying to kill gun we were finding a lot of information about Killua, and it was insane. I was completely shook. That was a huge turn of events. His brother's name is Illumi, and a gun was not happy about what his brother did. So that's kind of where we left off. That exam was and intense. Killua also killed somebody as well. Oh, yeah. So that was another reason to disqualify him. Oh, yeah. It was very, very intense. And uh, what else happened there? Oh, yeah. And um, just the overall exam. It was very cool. Gun. His arms broke, but he passed because he had amazing willpower. That's pretty much where we left off. So enough talking. Let's hop into episode 21 of Hunter Hunter. Let's do it. Some brother in trouble. X, X. <laughs> Sorry. Good. Oh, yeah. That was intense. 
That was very intense. Ilumi. That's a cool name. Ilumi. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I gotta say, I respect Gun's bravery. He's such a child, but he does not care, man. And I love it. And what's weird to me is that everybody knows this is going on, so they're just gonna let let this feud happen? <laughs> yeah, they're just all sitting there, just... <laughs> Ooh, he's pissed. Oh. Yeah, you can't really earn the right. <laughs> oh. Wait. <laughs> oh, wow, he landed so softly. I expected him to, like, throw him. He did walk away on his own. I think, I think what Gun should do is just go to Kilo himself. I mean, he did use his eyes, so maybe it was hypnosis. That's probably why Kilo was afraid of him. My God, Kurapika is such a smarty pants. <laughs> That's valid. Oh, he's saying that Kilo was stepped in, so he should be disqualified. Yeah. But once again, Natero is actually completely right too. This is tough because they were having a conversation. We knew something was going on between them. And Kurupika is probably right. But from the outside looking in, just as they're explaining, you can't really see that. Exactly. Oh. He definitely said something. Yep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, he's Sometimes right. He lost this guy. They he only surrendered, remember? Oh. Because once once Bodoro died, everybody passes automatically. Oh. Remember that? Because once one person dies, the wow. other survives. This is crazy. I'm li wow. <laughs> Everybody's like, yeah. <laughs> hmm. A rivalry and an enemy is coming upon us, and it's not Hisoka. So this is the interesting thing, because I definitely thought... Well, I didn't think, but Hisoka knows him. So that's what's... A lot in my head right now. But Kilo was said so himself. He wasn't really trying to pass the exam. I just think that he wants, he had this friendship with Gun. He just wanted to just be with Gun. Wow, so there's restricted areas of the world that only hunters can do, go to. 95% of public facilities? A <laughs> lot <Light> of credit. <laughs> so what's that 5%? So there's seven members who passed. So there's going to be at least one person. This is my, my guess. One person is going to end up losing their card. That's the guess. So now that the exam's over, they could just go about their ways at this point? Yeah. It's like... Oh. Oh, <laughs> snap. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this guy is actually kind of creepy now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That, yeah. So... You guys can put it in your comments or Big Daddy No More. Is this the start of the new arc coming up? Kokudo Mountain? That's what it feels like? Just... Oh, I don't remember. I don't know honestly. how this... I kind of know. I honestly do know that they're going there. I just don't remember what happens exactly. Okay. Wow, look at that. They just make amends after Hanzo just broke his arm like it was nothing. <laughs> or... <laughs> Cloud hid hidden ninja. That's another one, Bob. Exotic Game Hunter. So many kinds of hunters, right? Oh, gosh. Wow. Really? Forget it, then. Yeah. Interesting. This is my email address. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to know that they use emails. Yeah. <laughs> This is back in the day, too. Yep. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, this, this is important. 
Yeah, things are definitely starting to really unfold in a weird, interesting way. Of course, everybody heard the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or is he talking about oh this recent conversation? I thought he was talking about the conversation in the room. Why am I pointing back? I don't know. Ah, uh, I was just going to say, I was like, this must be his father. Ah. Uh, Wow. That's such a simple but probably most difficult thing to do, and I guess in this world. Because apparently this guy's like <laughs> MIA. Yeah. Nobody knows where he is right now. <laughs> now I'm gonna take a wild guess. I'll take I'll tell you guys at the end um of this reaction. <laughs> I also love the orchestration. Um that was really nice. Yep. Very cool. Very nice. <laughs> I love how in a lot of animes, like, travel is never, like, something that's, like, it's still so standard. Like, these guys are, like, hunters. They're strong. There's probably other ways that they can really travel if they wanted to. And here they are traveling in traffic. <laughs> like, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Soon, huh? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> what, what? What? I should have known. <laughs> Whoa. What? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Um whoa. Um I thought everybody passed though. Okay. Let's first talk about how great that episode was. It was a fin phenomenal it, episode. It was fantastic. Yeah, um because it, I we're just learning so much. There's a lot of emotional build up now with things that are going on. Kilowa seems to be the centerpiece of everything that's been going that's happening right now. Gun very upset about that situation and he let Illumi know <laughs> he broke Illumi's arm that's how strong Gun is which is really impressive um, I love the fact that everybody was kind of involved in that conversation about what happened with Killua because um, I was wondering I was like yo everybody saw this go down like it would be weird if other people weren't pitching in so I thought that was very interesting glad that everybody passed glad that everybody got their stuff um, or I got I got their card the one thing that now I'm interested in is the fact that we have an assassin who's also now a hunter. Illumi. What's his motive? He became a hunter for a reason. I don't think it's just because of Killua. There's something else here. He's Soka. <laughs> I think he said he needed the hunter license to go a certain place. Like mm. to perform an assassination. I believe. Okay, <laughs> you, you guys saw how I just looked over there. Yeah, <laughs> he's about to tell me something. I'm like, don't spoil me, please. <laughs> I, they definitely said that. No, he something did. Around those lines. He did. Um, and then he Soka, he just sitting there chilling, just watching things going on. But he has some weird obsession with gun, and it, now it's actually kind of creepy. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, just a little bit now. Um, but I, we don't really understand why. Maybe it's because Hisoka has a connection with um, Gun's father. That's kind of my guess here. Because why would he be so obsessed with such a young kid? And especially if he's saying that he's waiting. We don't really know how old Hisoka is. Hisoka could be, you know, the way this anime is. I mean, if Leoriel's a teenager, Hisoka could also be a teenager. So you never know. <laughs> um, so that's kind of my thought process with everything. And now... You know, obviously they're gonna go to Kankudo Mountain uh, to go find Kilua. That's where he is, and we're gonna obviously see how that's gonna play out. Um, yeah, it's weird. This is it's like another. Uh, it's it's weird how animes. I don't know how you feel about this, Big Daddy, no more. But a lot of animes they have this tendency to do the whole rescue mission thing. It's very common in a lot of animes. It, I guess it's just a theme that works. Yeah. Yeah. It's very interesting. So this is just another example of that. So, um, and before we go on to the next episode, the only thing I wanted to say was that very last part. 
the hunter exam's not over. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> I, yeah, I don't, I don't understand what, what that, that means, means when the hunter exam's over. They have their cards, so what, what is it? What's next? Like, the only thing I can think of is the card did have still some restrictions, right? I saw that they can only travel to what ninety five percent of the the a certain places, and like there was like a seventy five percent of a certain place that they they can travel to. So maybe the this extra part of the exam is will allow them to travel to 100% of everything. That's just my guess. Maybe. Yeah. That's Didn't all I got. Didn't you want to say something earlier? Like you said he was going to bring it up towards the end of the video. Oh, yes, I did. Um what was that thing? I can't believe I forgot. Wow. Um I apologize people. I definitely did say I was going to bring up something at the end. And I don't remember what it was. I think it had to do with Kilua. I just don't remember the specifics. Well, you know what? Let's just go to the next episode. And if I remember, I episode. will try to actually just either pause the video and say it. <laughs> or I'll really keep it in my head. So, yeah. Thank you for pointing that out. Yes. Because I... I know no it was idea. important. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Enough talking. I talk too much, y'all. I know you want to see reactions. So. Yes, yes. On to the next one. Click. Yeah, this is dope because now we, we got a lot more insight into Kilo as um Kilo as a character and with that reveal of his brother was like so dope. Was that a fake McDonald's? Yeah, right? <laughs> Yo, that's funny. <laughs> Go ahead. A dangerous X, X. watchdog. <laughs> <laughs> See, you guys, we like to have fun with this. Absolutely. That's what we're here for. If you're not having fun, it's okay. It's not for you. Or you can learn to have fun with us. Just keep watching. <laughs> yeah, definitely put your com uh, put your comments below. Like, is this a new arc? I just want to know how this is set up arc-wise. If it is in arcs. Or is it just one flowing like thing? Or a season and stuff too. I just want to kind of know. Yeah, that. You know what this mountain reminds me of? Um, Mount Olympus, like in Hercules, where it's like that big mountain and a then like God. A grandfather. A grandfather. Towards Hades. The <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Yo, you, never, you sure you never seen this anime? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is yo. I told you this is why you should do reactions. <laughs> really look deep into things. Oh man, I just said this reminds me of Mount Olympus. That's why yeah, I said. There's a reason. <laughs> it probably is Mount Olympus. Uh, <laughs> I swear, if there is an assassin named Zeus, oh. I'm gonna be so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I, I love to just, that's just how I watch my shows. <laughs> yeah, these guys are chumps. I was going to say, they're going to, yeah, they're not going to survive this. this. This is not even me predicting. This is just, it's kind of obvious. <laughs> like, no. The moment he said they're eating in between, yeah. Oh, snap. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised at how friendly they, this guy is actually. Um, given the fact that they're assassins, so are, are these family of assassins actually bad people, or are they just that, or that's just their jobs? Like they're just assassins. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, he's not going to be that nice. There's no way. Oh, if it's about the creature, they're, uh, trust me. I'm sure they can handle it. Okay, let's guess this. Gate. Wow. <laughs> no yeah, way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I like how we both said gate. <laughs> no, I said key. Oh, you said key. I said gate. This anime is very cunning, too, so far. I, I like how things are set up. Like, you think that things are kind of just straightforward. 
They are, but they're, they aren't at the same time. And the explaining thing actually is really good. Yeah, um, this is really on point. Yeah, because they explain things really transparently so you fully understand what's happening so far. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Wow, this guy. Here we go. All the characters in anime. Look at this. <laughs> He's about to show exactly. Wow. Old characters in anime are always just the godly, just... <laughs> wow. Just like that. <laughs> I love when the old characters, they, they just like randomly be like, yeah, you know, I can't do what I used to do, but they're just still so good at what they do. No, Gun is insisting. Man, Gun is a very interesting character. Out of all the protagonists in anime, he's the much more demanding one. Um, once he knows what he wants, he, he does not take no for an answer at all. And he's not even goofy about it. You know, yeah. some animes are goofy about it, but he's like, no, I want this now. Wow, what an organized kind of mansion. <laughs> yeah, these family members, they're clearly... With this family... There's a reason why nobody sees them. They're just too tough to reach. You hear that? Gunner was like, can you call again? I'll talk to them this time. Wow. <laughs> I mean, he's right, but like, geez. Wow. Interesting. What kind of family is this? <laughs> Gunner was like, no more. Yo. <laughs> Yeah, and this just, just emphasizes what I was saying. Gun is, yup. Gun is not taking no for an answer. <laughs> Gun is definitely the most interesting protagonist I've watched in an anime. This has actually solidified that. As number one most interesting protagonist for me. Out of the animes I watched. Wow, the first gate is an entire forest. Tch. Entire forest. How far is to the second gate? That's the question. <laughs> yeah, of course they're afraid. That thing is huge. Yo, how creepy is that? I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah. Like, imagine you're walking and this dog could literally eat you in two seconds. And you just have to hope that he likes you. <laughs> Interesting. That is very interesting. All right, y'all. That was um. Dope, dope, dope. That was cool, man. That was episode twenty-two mm. of um Hunter X Hunter. So um, or Hunter Hunter, however you guys want to call it. Um, that was a dope episode. I really, really enjoyed that one. Um, lots once again, a lot of interesting information revealed about basically the family. The one thing that I, I noticed the most was just that family. They are very structured. I mean, they have how many gates was it? Twelve gates or something like that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, and each gate the the amount of weight doubles. Like that's that's wild. That's really really wild. So how are they gonna get through the gates? We don't know. Let me get this camera back on real quick. And, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's really what it's about. And, um, the butler, that conversation that he had with the gun, it's pretty clear that these assassins are very protective of each other and their entire family. And this is like an entire fortress. I mean, holy moly. I mean, they just went through the first gate and they're in an entire forest on a mountain. Keep that in mind. Well, I don't even know if they actually climbed the mountain that far up yet. So mm -hmm. yeah, there, there's going to be a lot to this coming up. And, um, Obviously, Gun really wants to save his friend Kilua, and I don't blame him, man. Kilua, they developed a nice little relationship as friends um, pretty quickly, and it's hard to just see your friend all of a sudden disappear without any explanation. So I feel for Gun and um, Gun's personality as well. Uh, just as I mentioned, his personality, it's pretty clear that he will never take no for an answer. When he wants something, he's going to go after it. A lot of other anime characters are like that, but not the way gun approaches situations so he that's why i say he's one of the more interesting protagonists um that i've seen 
in an anime or a main character, I should say, because I, I I wouldn't call Gun an actual hero. He's not really doing here. Well, technically, right now he's on a hero kind of mission, if you want to say, but he's not an actual hero. Um, so that's really my thought process on all of that. So you know, put your thoughts below on what you guys thought about this episode, about this reaction, and Big Daddy No More. Do you have anything to add? No, this was really good. I don't know what to say. Awesome, awesome. He doesn't know what to say. (laughs) So, we're going to end the reaction video here, of course. If you guys do not know yet, we are only doing two episodes per per reaction, but you will be getting four to five episodes per week. So, don't worry. The next reaction videos will be coming. So, definitely be on the lookout for that. Of course, don't forget, if you're on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when we're dropping a video and for those of you guys who are on patreon thank you as always i greatly greatly appreciate you guys for everything and i know we're gonna have a lot of fun in this community very excited and don't forget i drop music every week remember i am a music producer i drop beats artists musicians fellow producers if you're looking to work with another producer like myself come reach out to me i'll be gladly to come and work with you guys so definitely reach out All the links will be in the description below as well. So we're going to end it here now. So as always, don't let anybody ever tell you who you can or cannot be. And until the next time, I'm Robertini, the source, and I am out. This is from the source.